Hello everyone, my name is Daniel and I'm just a casual sim racer and today I want to show off an awesome new mod that just popped up on Race Department today created by Stereo and that is the Chinook Mark II Can-Am car. I love Can-Am racing, you know I've released the 1966 Can-Am collection. Well anyways, this car raced in the 1966 and 1967 Can-Am seasons infinitely entering at most a handful of races best it placed was like 14th in one of the races in 1967. Anyways, so I'm going to be driving this car. However, I did do one thing to change things up a bit. And that was I created a tire file for the car because when I was driving it the first time, I just felt a disconnect between the tires and how the car should handle. Too often you would push hard into a corner and it was just impossible to recover a slide where you just have snap oversteer, which isn't how cars handled in the 1960s, you know, mid to late 1960s. You would drive the cars hard. They would slide through the corners. Sometimes you might be about to lose control, but you could counter steer, control the car, save it, and yet you're losing time. It's not the fastest way to drift your car to the corner, but you could push hard to the edge, and it's not like your car's going to snap and fly off the road. So that was something that was, like, I felt like the the mod was this close to being incredible and I just because I've dealt so much now with building my own mods and stuff I could just tell I think this is the tires and I started messing around and I built a tire file which you can find in the description on race department linked down in the video description as well as I've linked them the just link to this mod by stereo as well and so download the mod and then install the file the tire file over that and so what you'll do is you'll want to in content manager here let me show you in a second so first let's just look at this car real quick it's just beautiful beautiful car um, so you're gonna go to content up here and you're going to go to down here you're gonna hit unpack data and so that's gonna unpack the data for the file and then you can go into hit folder here in content manager and so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to, there will be a data file here. It'll be like a little notebook. You'll want to delete that after unpacking the data. Unpack the data, then go into folder, then delete the data file. That will allow you to then install, you'll be able to in drag and drop the new tire file for this car. You might also be able to drag and drop it into Content Manager, have it auto-install. I'm not sure if that'll work, so I'm not going to guarantee anything. But for sure, if you first unpack the data, delete the old pack data folder, then you'll be able to replace the tire file here with the one that I created. And you can just drag that into here. So, And that'll give you such a better driving experience. In my opinion, more realistic to what a mid to late 1960s can M car was like to drive and also it will make it just a little bit easier and I don't mean easier to necessarily get good lap times though not wrecking of course will help that but more you don't have to worry about the car losing control you can actually push the car to its limits and I find that a lot more enjoyable not only a realistic but more enjoyable because now I can start to really explore the rest of the mod and how it drives at the edge at the limit so anyways also, good news I have is I will be releasing within the next month the 1967 Can-Am Mod Collection. I was kind of waiting for another car to come out so that I could fill out the mod collection a bit more completely. And so, and I've also just been building it over the last many, many months, I guess, since I released the 1966 mod collection. So that'll be coming out. It's going to be awesome. I'll probably have driving this car as a default option and then also the um, Lola Mark II as another option that you can drive by default of course you can always go into the miscellaneous championships and you know change things up change the car you're driving etc so that'll be good but for now let's jump into a race we're gonna do a I think we'll just do a race since I've already talked a bit and so here let me just select the Can-Am driver file. There we go. 23 opponents. Got all the famous names here. Bruce McLaren, Bill Eve, 
John Surtees, Mark Donahue, a lot of names, Chris Amon, great Can-Am racers. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to do Riverside. thought that'd be a really good, just fun race to do. So we'll jump into it. All right, we've loaded up into the race. We started in 20th in the back. Definitely would have been one of the slower cars, you know, in Can-Am racing at the time. That's why I don't think it entered that many races. And in the one race that did finish 14th, it was kind of like the second or third to last finisher. So it wasn't so much uh, on speed or maybe merit, as you'd call it, but just endurance. Which, I mean, speaks for something, but... It's definitely slower than the Lola T70 Mark II, which there's a lot in the field here. My favorite car in all of a set of Corsa. So I'm not as fast. I can easily race in the top 10 with the Lola most tracks with this car I don't think I'll be able to get up into the top 10 especially it's only a three lap race we'll see we'll see I think shooting for a top 15 would be pretty good be pretty happy with that maybe a top 12 Hang on there. one thing when I was making the tire file for this car I was like this thing I mean, it shouldn't handle so foreignly from the Lola, which I love the way it handles. And then there are other Can-Am cars in a set of course as well. I'm like, shouldn't it be a totally foreign driving experience? So one of the things I did was take a little bit of inspiration driving those cars, going back, messing with the tire file. And so I definitely think it fits in a lot better now, too. Oh, we're drifting up the track there. Tires. Lost a lot of grip. Let's see, let's see. We're off 17th, but we've fallen back a bit here from the other cars. There we go. So pretty much halfway through the race right here. Let's see if I can make up some time. Ah, I drove that a little too hard. <laughs> Drifting up there for sure. Break a little bit earlier than I did last time. Let's not slide up into the wall. There we go. I just want 16 at this point. Sliding all over the place, put on the power there, I'm trying to get it down so I can get past that Ferrari. Come on. Can I get past this car? Nope. <laughs> 
So it's definitely an awesome mod. I encourage you to check it out. It's a lot of fun to drive. It's not easy to drive. But it's a lot of fun. I encourage you to change the tire file out. I think that really made the mod come alive, at least for me it did. And then keep a lookout for the 1967 Can-Am mod collection that I'll be releasing here in a couple of, a couple of weeks. So, thank you for helping to support the channel, and thank you to those of you who have subscribed. And I'll catch you all in the next video, and until then, have a great rest of your week.